the one with the palm tree is also nice though. So today we are driving to the Luxembourg. Luxembourg! Welcome to Luxembourg everybody! So you got free uh, peanut here while you are waiting. It's so good. That is my hot dog. I got ooh, fresh jalapeno, mushroom. Whoa! Oh my god! There's a reason everybody come to the Okay, good morning everybody. Welcome back to another episode in Europe trip. So today we are driving to the Luxembourg. Yes. Luxembourg for another checklist in a Europe country. So it's just like driving how many how many hours? A little less than two hours. A little less than two hours from Germany where we are in uh, K-Town, uh, Kaiserslautern, that's the full name. And yeah, just uh, enjoy the view along the way and like go for the uh, check, check box, uh, check bucket list and then we are coming back. Along the way you can see all the farm, the mountain and uh, a really beautiful view. Yeah, I never get any tired from this drive. You get tired from the drive? I'm just tired of driving. <laughs> just kidding. Yeah. So have you been to there before, right? Just one time. One time? This is gonna be my first time. It's gonna be... Jim, is it your first time too? Yeah. We got the uh, German style. style? German style? Yes. German style. So even though we got the uh, uh, short drive, just go back and forth. Nobody's gonna check their passport, but just in case if the police pull us over. We never get any experience from driving across the country that police will check the passport, right? Mm. Yeah. On the train, for sure, they, the, the, the police just come on the train and then they check the people document and then the police get off the train, so. Always get your uh, passport ready or your ID ready in your bag. Otherwise, you will be kicked out from the country. <laughs> Luxembourg! Welcome to Luxembourg, everybody. Welcome <laughs> to Luxembourg! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Alright, it's time to turn back. <laughs> If you are already in Germany like us, I don't see why not to take a quick drive to the nearby country like we went yesterday to France and also today is to Luxembourg. A few facts of the first impression in this country or this city. It is the 44th smallest country in the world, but it's also the 7th smallest country in Europe. They kind of like speak mix of three languages. First is their own language, second Germany or French, I mean three of this language. And a lot of people call this country as a little Switzerland because it's kind of like amazing panoramic view of the cliff, lush, forest and so much more. And my favorite are the view during we are driving to the city or going back to see the amazing villages, houses and the buildings around the nature and also around the area whether inside the city and along the way especially the old European style I mean if you like to watch the old traditional European movie I promise you, you will love this city but first since we are driving so we need to find a parking space it is a little challenging to go around to find the parking lot but we found one so let's park the car and walking around the city we're just walking past by the beautiful church so you can go inside the church probably you need to buy the ticket i think so you can see people just going inside and the beautiful buildings kind of like a where we park the car is not far away from the central area where we can walk around so we are arriving here so it took us around five minutes to this central area to get some picture enjoy with the amazing view and especially if you are coming around 
July or August. A little cold, chill, but not that kind of cold. But um, yeah, you can see the clock tower and here is the Monument of Remembrance. Next to that is also the little shop where you also can uh, go down next to that shop to the bathroom if you cannot find anywhere around the area on the uh, first floor. And yeah, we are now trying to look for the Luxembourg magnet for our collection. <laughs> I like this one. Stick that sold out. And this and one. Stick and maybe this that, one. That or that. This one. The one of those. Maybe. Okay. The one with the country is also nice. Huh? Yeah. The one with the country is also a nice country flag. It's got the flag. This one too. Oh yeah. This one. Try yeah. to get this one then. Yeah. So you can see people walking under that bridge the sunlight is a little bit like bright so you can't really see i'm not sure if you guys can see but uh yeah that's that's all the best i can do and zoom so yeah walking across the bridge before we are heading back so this is the bridge that we uh, pass by you also can see from the other side that we were walking um, to the main area where is the I don't know if it's the called independent monument of the uh, area I didn't see the history but uh, yeah we'll find out for you guys in the screen later on when I edit this video so it's kind of like a really great landmark to walk around and see you know especially the uh, the old building it's not only the castle but it's also for the people house that they built on the uh, mountain rock and you can see it's like this is like really high especially those tree is very very high I don't know how many meter but it's really high so you can you can see there so we were standing right over there uh, and then I would say the great place for people uh, come and hang out it's a really great place for the local people and this is the bridge I'm not sure what does it mean but it's cool Right. Good. Beautiful. A lot of, a lot of uh, old building. Look at that building. It's like, uh, tell people that you are in Europe by not telling them that you are in, in Europe. Yeah, you definitely go to Europe. Mm. Okay, so we are walking back to the uh, parking lot. It was a quick uh, walking around. I think it's like around one hour or two hours or so. And uh, coming here, you can see it's like all the uh, old building, European building. and. Um, Another special part is you always can see it's like the airplane take off every two or five minutes. The weather is perfect. It's not hot, not cold. It's just perfect. Pay for the parking. How much is that? Wow, I think if we go to Italy, it's also kind of like similar castle and everything, but the only difference is the food. Yeah, we are paying for the uh, packing fee here. It's how many hours? Like, uh, it's a transaction in progress. Please wait. Yeah, this is over here, so I thought I could. Perfect. 
coming on the road trip to Luxembourg just started to the end you never tired of any part of the trip like you can see on the way back you kind of like seeing the public transportation the building the people and also the most important thing is the European building old style and the view along the way and also our most most favorite part is to see the sign when we are crossing the border I mean just pass by is not a crossing stop by to stamp the passport or anything it just passing by just like the sign so it means that you are entering back to Germany That's why we are having dinner. So you got free uh, peanut here while you are waiting. It's so good. It's kind of like cooked like that and like that. That's how it goes. Bye, guy. Whoa! Oh my God. There's a reason everybody comes to the Fi guy. It's like a bag, like a full bag of fries. I like that potato. It's like fresh potato. That is my hot dog. I got ooh, fresh jalapeno, mushroom. How was that? Pickle. And then uh, some lettuce here. I feel like this one is burnt or something, but not almost burnt. Yeah. Here we go. Thank you so much guys for watching and coming along with us to Luxembourg. If you like any part of the video, please give us a big thumbs up. It will be helping us a lot. And don't forget to subscribe to get our new video every week. And for now, we will see you guys in the next episode in Europe. And yeah, so you guys have a great day. Bye.